Hey guys, got a new video for you today. Uh, remember the time that we talked about uh, noise drums, where we made um, drums from noise and we filtered the noise and we got some rhythm going? Well, I kind of made a similar patch with this one. Um, I've got a few things on my channel here. It's an equalizer, so that's not very important. I got a big reverb and I've got the gain but that isn't used I think no it's not so um, I did use an external reverb because the reverb in Zebra is nice but I wanted a convolution reverb a real reverb and um, so that is advisable for this sound this is what it sounds like So it's these uh, big movie tom drum sounds, something like that. Um, I'll remove these oscillators for now. So we'll just have one lane. And we have oscillator 1 and it's tuned way down. If I disable all the other stuff, except the shaper. This is what it does, and that's because I have the phase distortion both in uh, FX1 and FX2, and the one in FX2 is um, not controlled by an LFO. No, forget about that one. No LFO. So just like that. Uh, I've got the sync on, envelope 2 is on the phasing, envelope 2 is um, doing a loop and the decay is to, uh, set to 50 and that means it's, that it's gonna do this like this with the phasing but pretty subtly so then we have that part and the wave looks like this, it's pretty crazy um, and I made this by just, I never uh, put too much science in uh, this, this wave drawing. I just do something like this and make it look pretty crazy and then it's fine for me. So that's that. Um, then it goes through the shaper. The shaper is set to wedge, which, which is my favorite type. Um, also the most aggressive type. Then we have the XMF filter, we've been talking about that uh, the last few weeks, so this uh, should all be familiar for the, so this should all be familiar to you. Um, we have the low pass, the band pass, it's set to parallel, it's in analog mode, the cutoff is at uh, 96, some resonance and filter FM is um, and filter FM is up uh, to 100 percent Then we have a bit of overload and a bit of click and I think we don't need to click and last in the chain is just a low pass filter and the resonance is a bit up at 13.5 the drive is a lot up let's say at 50 and a bit of cutoff but the cutoff is controlled with MSEG2 and there we have our rhythm so um, we have a lot of bass in there we can maybe set this to 24 set to octaves yeah I think that would also work um, just make sure you have a, a rhythm with a lot of lows in it and then you can accentuate the frequencies that you like with an equalizer and then just put the big reverb uh, behind it and you've got some cool drum effect it's probably cooler with the low still in there more low so if you're in uh, logic you can also use if you don't have this LT verb you can also use Space Designer 
Um, just, just, oh, sorry. Just make sure it's a, a big reverb, so we can set this to um, 10 seconds, the length of the reverb, and then let's see. It might be a bit extreme. I think the reverb is going to be um, the most important so I'll spend some time with that and um, just make sure you have a sort of a rhythm in the sound and a lot of lows um, that will be enough to um, to give you these kind of uh, cool effect sounds I used it in a, in a build up here it's this um, this brown trick So yeah, have fun with that and uh, next week.